Another week, another episode of Sideline Bling, and guess what, Patrick? What? Leonel Messi's seven-year-old son, Thiago, scored oh. more goals than his father this week. Oh, shots fired, but yeah, he's following his dad's footsteps with the number 10 in his, in his back. But I think there's like a little controversy there, right? Yeah, second goal was definitely offsides. That's was not, it? Yeah, that's not gonna fly when he's in La Liga. That's gonna be called off by BAR. Christoph Porzingis made history by becoming the first player ever to do a post-game interview with a Real Betis shirt. That's not a tough record to break, but he did it, yeah. Here at Bean Sports, we were really happy, but did you know he started his basketball career in Sevilla? Interesting. And I that's where he fell in love with Los Verdi Blancos. Nice story. Not only did he wear it though, but he kissed it, so. Ah, he's a real he fan. He really loves it. Inches wanted. <laughs> Next up, a not so memorable moment for France's League Two goalkeeper, Brice Mablou. Mm -hmm. He threw the ball, but it backfired on him, scoring an own goal. That was horrible. Also in the Liga Premier of Mexico, Tecos against Atlético Reynosa, Eduardo Santana probably scored the fastest own goal in history, I'm not sure, but that was just horrible. I feel terrible for them. But Eduardo Santana is a good goalkeeper. I mean, you're looking at the saves right now. Not anybody can do that. For all eSport gamers, this one's for you. If you're married, don't even think about it. <laughs> yeah, Japan is creating this gaming bed and uh, it's the dream for everybody that likes to play video games. Yeah, but is this healthy? No, but I, I'm, I'll try it out it's, to see if it's It gives me anxiety out. next. I love it. So we just witnessed El Clasico between Real Madrid and Barcelona. You were there. I was. And Mariano came in and scored a really quick goal at the end of the game. Look at his heat map. It's not a real heat map, but it's pretty much only, the only thing he did. But it's very accurate. He came on in the last minutes of the game and he scored the second goal for Los Blancos. Easy. It's time for Fits, Kits and Kicks, and today we start off with Puma, who released Palmeiras' 2020 kit inspired by Italy's recent Renaissance kit. Yeah, the Puma's origins are Italian, so it, it all connects, and they look nice. I love them. And we're gonna see them on Bean Sports, Copa Libertadores. That's right, plugs. Now let's talk about a fit. Well, not a fit, but the fit. David Beckham, Ralph Lauren, Inter Miami, perfect combination. He won the MSFP award that I just made up, right? What is it? Most stylish former player. Ah, yeah, yeah. He's always the most stylish soccer player, but, uh, you know, inspirational video, maybe too much, but still, he looks good. Patrick, I know you're not supposed to tell us, but you're a Rajados fan, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, you're gonna love this because Matias Kranevitter was gifted special edition Air Force Ones with Chavo del Ocho drawings. You were right, I am gonna love this, and I want to get those myself. Me too, and I want a shirt. Uh, this is the same guy that designed Rodolfo Pizarro's cleats for his debut with Inter Miami. Uh, with the Fairy Odd Parents design, Wanda and Cosmo. Are you sure it's not the Fairly God Parents? No, Odd Parents. I remember that like it was yesterday. Okay. And uh, he probably wished for a win, but the Odd Parents gave him a loss. That's so sad. That is it for another episode of Sideline Bling, but I have one more question. What? Are we gaining or losing another hour this week? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, whatever happens, it will happen. And... Okay, philosophical <laughs> Patrick. Goodbye. <laughs>